Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and on Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, I would love to see you there. Just, um, I have a link in the description below and you can go there and follow me on Instagram. If you are not a subscriber here, why not? I show all kinds of paper products and I love chatting with you answering um replying to your comments i love interacting with you guys um if i had better internet i would do lives but i don't so here we are doing traditional youtube videos and i want to show you a little thing that i want to add um to a journal like i said in previous videos when i think of something i want to do and add to a project I think, well, why not just share it with you guys, too? So, I'm going to make a collaged envelope that I will be adding to a journal. And I wanted to share my next giveaway. And that one's going to be very special. So, you'll just have to watch and figure out when I mention that giveaway in the video and um, the rules that you'll have to go by to win or be put in the drawing to win the little giveaway that um, I'll be announcing later on in the video. So keep watching. All right, so we are going to make a collaged envelope. I'm getting my trimmer and I'm going to cut this paper, this is just regular white cardstock, and I'm cutting this paper at, let's see, that's eight and a half, that's eight and a quarter. I'm cutting, cutting it at eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth, just because that's going to work a little better with my um, envelope punch for what I'm wanting to do. And this will fit in a, a journal on journal page better than something if I would have just left that paper at eight and a half by eleven. <clears throat> so we are at eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth, and we are going to score this at four and an eighth on all sides and punch so here goes the punch that's usually loud and some people don't like that so I warned you ahead of time there's eight and an eighth I mean four and an eighth punched and scored and then here we go again Uh-oh, I think I might have done that wrong. A line score mark with, yep, that's right. I got that wrong. So I was supposed to do it there. Let's see how horrible that's going to look. If I just move it. Oh, I can cover that up. <laughs> All right, I'm not going by that. I keep forgetting that. Not going by that now. I'm going by the line there. I mean, I've used this tool like 40, 11 times, and I forget that every time. That the first time is the only time you line it up there. The rest of the time you're lining it up with that score mark you just made. You goofy. All right. There's all my little tabbies. And I'm going to easily cover up that little notch after I do all of my collaging. So this one will just have a an extra little lip there. So folding it over and over and over to make my little pocket and my little envy. All right, 
yep and it's just going to be easier to go ahead and decorate this way instead of um, collaging all of this and then putting it in your um, envelope punch because it's it'll be so thick it'll be very hard to punch so uh, this is going to be the outside that inside I'm going to put a little eye in this corner right here just so that when I start decorating I'll remember I don't need to decorate that side and I'll make that the bottom of my envelope so no worries okay so outside of my envelope and I'm going to get some of these um, digitals and then some of this Tim Holtz memoranda paper and then some scraps because I'm all about using as many scraps as possible I want to get this stuff out of here so let's use up as many scraps as we possibly can let's see here but I do want it to be kind of cohesive so it doesn't have to matchy matchy but I would like for it to be halfway so let's just use these scraps these scraps and then I know I've got some paper scraps from that memoranda somewhere. We're just going to have to find it. Oh well. Alright, I'm going to pull one sheet out of this. This one sheet right here could be a collage all by itself. I love, 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 love that sheet out of that paper pad. <clears throat> Let's see here how we want to start out because I also want to use this stamp from Tim Holtz that we have in the shop now. Um, our first shipment has sold out but we have them reordered so we should be getting more of these but this is a um, Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection. It's the Field Notes one and I want you to look at this and think that's a huge stamp how am I going to use that it's not a huge stamp all of these come out of that mom has showed this on her video before so you've got those numbers that's a little stamp all by itself see all of these all of these come out and you use them they're great for collaging so I'm going to use that on a couple of spots that I do. Like I want to use this. I'm just going to cut this out so I don't wreck all the rest of them because I might not use all of them. But I'm going to use this. And tear the edges. And I'm going to use some gesso. And... If you got the May E Club kit, you got gesso in that. And if you have never used gesso, you are in for a treat. I love gesso. Um, you either got white or you got clear in your e-club kit we just got as much as we could of everything our supplier had so some people got um, white and some people got clear and that was just luck of the draw whoever got what all right i'm gonna dirty this up a little bit with my tim holtz salvage patina brand new 
Kim Holtz color. Dirty that up just a little bit with that. And then I'm going to stamp on this and then add it on with my gesso. So let's see here. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's try the little... bird and let's try to find my stamp block. I'm gonna do like the kids used to do. They would call for their stuff like inanimate objects. They would call their name and try to get them to come to them. So like our son called his um, sippy cup off to me forever. I mean, just where that came from, we still have no clue. But if he couldn't find his sippy cup, he'd say, off to me, off to me. He would even put his hand up by his mouth. Off to me, trying to get it to come to him. It was the cutest thing ever. Oh my gracious goodness. How pretty that is. All right. I love that. Okay. Let's clean off our stamp. Get my gesso. I have the white that came in my May E Club kit. And, I mean, we're just like y'all guys. We got luck of the draw whatever we got we got and I got white and some people got little squeezy bottles of gesso and some people got the jar of Tommy art gesso we just <laughs> we literally bought our um, supplier out all they had we bought just for our e-club people and some of that came in very late and so some people's e-club kit shipped out a little later than others and we apologize but that's just luck of the draw as far as um, manufacturers these days they're still not up to capacity as far as their employees and we're just having a deal just like every other company all right so i'm using white so when you use white it's going to cover up a lot of this stuff but if you get your little rag and you can come in on little parts of it and rub away some of the gesso and look at there you get that image coming back through I love gesso. I just love the the way it looks. And you're going to get smearing with um, stamping. That's just the way it is. That's the way it goes. And I'm good with that. We want it to look distressed anyway, so don't matter. Okay, I think I'm going to put that there. So I want to use my gesso there. And a lot of this is going to get covered up. So I'm going to go back at the very end and do most of my distressing. And of course, if you're going to make a collaged envelope and you don't have gesso, you can just glue down all of this stuff. I'm just using the gesso because it's a brand new product from our Make It and I wanted to feature it. Okay. And then... Uh, at the end, you can also go back and wet a rag and go back in and you can do um, some more stuff with wet and get some of this cleaned off. Excuse me. Get some of that cleaned off if you want to. Put that down. It's already got some gesso behind it. 
I'm going to lift this up. that down there and go over the top of that so it's like your kind of like decoupage kind of like that all right then I'm going to get my icky rag again go in there and uncover a little bit of it okay I like that now when this dries you can go in and you can um, stamp over that so that's what I'm doing I'm kind of laying a ugh, I can't even talk I'm kind of laying a foundation <laughs> so that when this dries I can go back in there and stamp over the top of it and collage a little bit more but I'm going to go ahead and get all of my papers down while that's drying So that while I get the rest of this down, that can be drying, and then I can go immediately into it and do some more stamping and show you guys what I will be doing as far as that goes. Get my walnut stain. I want to go ahead and go over this one. Get that white core out and then darken up some of this too whenever I put it on. Okay, and then when you're doing the envelope shape, it's okay to go over the, um, let's see, I need it this way. It's okay to go over the edges because you're going to go back. And you are going to cut around on the back side. You're going to cut around your original um, envelope shape. I'm going to put this piece down with liquid glue. I'm using the Barely Arts from our shop. You guys really love Barely Arts. Every time we get it, it's like two weeks it's sold out. So we're trying to stay on top of that and get more but of course we're not a huge huge store so we try not to overwhelm ourselves with too much product and not being able to have any workspace whatsoever <laughs> so we can't keep it in stock constantly and of course I went off the edge with my glue I need to tear that off and use it elsewhere. Okay, and I'll get that. Okay, I'm going to go right here with that piece and then stain there. And I'm going to go around and distress all of it when I get done. Okay, so this is going to be, okay, I'm just going to have to make the inside however it is. See, like when you, I'm going to have to make the inside flaps whichever way I've got my directional paper going on this side. So I'm not going to worry about that right at this moment. I'm just going to keep on tearing. And if you've got some of that collage paper that we had in the shop, I don't think we've got too much of that left. But if you've got some of that Tim Holtz collage paper, that stuff would really go well doing this kind of thing. I'm going to distress that up. And 
and if y'all hear the dog or the refrigerator humming or one of the kids walking through you'll just have to hear it because I have started leaving my craft room door open I like that I've started leaving that open simply because it gets so hot in my little studio here I have to have on so many lights for taping and I have to leave I have to it is it gets so hot in here when I'm videoing I'm sweating just doing a video so I told my husband I said they might hear stuff in the background they may hear y'all walking through talking on the phone whatever but I just I can't anymore it is just it's so hot the older I get the more of those little flashes I get <laughs> oh but I can't stand it I cannot stand it it makes me just I mean almost pretty much sick to my stomach when I have one of those and surgery help that along so I'm going through it a little bit earlier than most women folk do so joy joy there's that all right let's look here I know this looks like a hot mess right now but y'all just wait <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful all right, I want to get this butterfly on there somewhere because, of course, y'all know Mother and I both love the butterflies. Love them. Okay. And this is a great scrap buster project. So if you've got some scraps laying around that you need taken care of and out of the way this is the way to do it i'm going to get just a little bit of gesso on those papers there and i'll go back in um you do not have to completely cover up your projects with gesso either you can just partially cover it up and then use um, your liquid glue elsewhere it's totally up to you I'm trying to think now if I do that up the butterfly would be upside down I think I want to put the butterfly there yep all right so I'm just going to put my dollop of glue here and just kind of position my scrap piece over the top of that and then I'll come back in with some more scrap pieces around that <clears throat> excuse me my throat has decided to try and get all yicky right here while I'm on video with you guys it was not doing that before I got on video my allergies have gotten a lot better thank you to all that commented and told me that you were hoping that my allergies got better they have they've gotten a lot better um, so whatever was doing all the blooming that was getting me all flustered maybe has stopped or paused or something whatever it did thank you so much I appreciate that because I needed the um, I needed the relief that is for sure I'm just gonna cover this partially okay and then I want to do something different right there not that paper just because it's the exact same and I don't want to have it all matchy matchy so that's why I'm not putting that there let's get this 
straight edge off of this and ink those edges. Oh yeah, that goes well there. And I'll do some gesso over the top of that. I will be doing a video for the May E-Club kit. I was just needing to do a little faster video with this so that I can tell y'all about my next giveaway. So, I am approaching, I have already passed 3,000 subscribers. I'm approaching 3,300. <clears throat> and for anybody that knows me uh, in real life, <laughs> not just here on YouTube. Hey, Aaron J., you want to say hi to everybody? Sure. Hi, everybody. Come here. You want to put your hand under here and wave at them? <laughs> There's Aaron J. Come on back here. There you go. There's Aaron J. He's walking by. Um, for anybody that knows me in real life, uh, the number 33 is my very favorite number of all time for a few different reasons, and I won't get into all of those, but I have always really loved the number 33. So, when I saw that approaching, I thought, I'm going to have another giveaway. This is, it's time. Um, it's, there's a reason for that. There's a reason I'm not over the 33 yet, because uh, I thought I would wait till I was about at 4,000 subscribers before I had another giveaway because I just had my birthday giveaway and congratulations to Miss Rose for winning that little giveaway. So I just had a giveaway. So I was thinking, you know, you just had one. They might get tired of that. But then I thought, who gets tired of winning? Ugh, nobody. So having another giveaway for me almost being at 3,300 subscribers. And I know everybody else is going to be like, 3,300? What, what kind of milestone is that? It's just something for me. It's, you know, it is my YouTube channel. So, um, 33 has um, a lot of significance to me. Uh, I had that number growing up in sports. I always had that number when my daughter, our daughter, was playing sports. She um, had the number 33. And so that's been a very significant number in my life. So it is my favorite number. And I thought, I'm going to have a giveaway at 3,300 subscribers. So that just so happened to go along with right after my birthday giveaway this year. So two giveaways in one month. That's kind of crazy. Now, the um, prize that I'm going to give away for my 3,300 subscriber giveaway prize, that was all redundant, wasn't it? Anyway, the prize is going to be a um, gift card or gift certificate. You'll get a coupon, a uh, little coupon code um, <clears throat> to scrapbookingwithme.com that you can go in and um, you can buy, buy stuff with it and, you know, get free product. I am going to do three winners. Three winners. So we're staying with that three thing. I'm going to do three winners. And it's going to be... <laughs> I 
Thank you, being suspenseful. I'm sorry. Uh, three winners, and it is going to be $25 for each of the three winners. So, my 3,300 subscriber giveaway is going to have three winners. And each of those winners is going to receive a $25 gift certificate or gift coupon code to scrapbookingwithme.com for you to use in the shop and buy whatever your little heart is contented with that you want. Is that not great? I thought that was really great. So three winners and I will tell you what you gotta do to be entered. Just a minute, let me get this put on here. As I'm doing this, you're seeing that this gesso is drying in these little sections here. The first sections that I did. Alright, I'm going to cover this whole doolally piece right here. I'll give you the rules of the giveaway. Just a minute. What you got to do. And it's very easy. It's not anything too too hard that you've got to do as far as the rules of being entered. That's Aaron J heating up his lunch. If you hear a beeping. Alright, I'm going to go around this, even though all of this is not going to be shown because I'm going to go back and I am going to, whoopsie, I'm going to um, cut that excess off in just a minute. Ooh, I need to use the back side of this paper too because that is pretty, 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 oh yeah, I like that, the back side of that. Okay, I'm going to do this, yep, that there. Now yes, this will be a thick envelope once you get done with it, but it is so worth it because it looks so cool. It's got a very cool um, look to it. Ooh, I like that there. Move that over. That is right on that fold line, so I'm going to get that put down really, really good. Get me some good gesso marks across there. Okay, and then that one there. I like that. Pretty. Okay. And let's get the rest of this covered up. I think I'm going to go a big piece of this there. Cover most of that. Yeah, I like that. Just gonna go around this gesso. I'm gonna go ahead and glue, put glue on all of this flap, and then I'll go in and put in my extra stuff. Cover up all of that, and ooh, very close, very close to covering all of that. That works. And I will come in here, wipe off this. 
go ahead and trim that off. Lock my board again. And I'll go in here with any places I think need something extra. And do that. And yes, you get very messy, messy, messy when you're doing a collaged envelope. So if you want to wear like food prep gloves or something like that, you can totally do that. And I think this one little piece of ledger paper, put that there just so we're covering up all the way to the edge and I'll cut off the excess of that and get some gesso going there okay all right hot mess hot mess express right here but you are going to see in just a minute oh, give me a drink sorry You'll see in just a minute, when all this dries, I'm going to go ahead and get my handy dandy dryer out, and I'm going to speed this up and come back to you when it's all dry and show you how I stamp and then how I trim around the edges and get this envelope closed, and then I'll let you know what the rules are to my next giveaway. Okay, so I've got most of all that dry. I'm going to flip her over and go along this defined edge that we have of the original envelope. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and walnut stain distress all of my edges okay I love how that gesso really takes to the ink too. You can get all kinds of good muddy color with that gesso. Oh, I like this. Okay, then I'm going to make it very defined by doing a little bit more stamping. So I have that bird there. I'm going to get my black Onyx Brilliance ink back out and I'm going to stamp her a few more times. Okay, and then I'll get my rag here, clean off. And then get one more, I think. Yep, I really like that. But I'm a mixed media fan anyway, so that's why I really like that. Um, let's see here. I've already got a bird, so I'm going to stay away from the butterfly as much as I want to use the butterfly. Ooh, I like that one specimen and it has some uh, hand lettering on it like old hand lettering and I dropped one of the stamps in the floor somewhere I'll have to look for that later okay so I think I might get those numbers out and do those too oh I love that That is pretty. Do it 
at the bottom here too. Off the oh, I love that. Love it. Okay, and let's get some. Let's see, one more. How about that number four, eight, whatever? I like that. I can't find my little little bitty stamp block. I'm gonna have to clean my room to find it. Cute. Got that all over my fingernail, yay. Oh, I love the top on that number. Very pretty. Let's add it there. Add it to the side here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and fold this back. So I'm going to need my bone folder. I'm going to fold this over and see we've got some pieces wanting to come up. So I'll just go in with some of that Barely Arts and get that fixed back. Get that adhered down nicely and then fold over again we're making sure that we don't have any lifting of your collage okay here's this little piece is just on this edge just trying to come up and fold that over Uh-oh. Can't <laughs> get that folded over <laughs> proper spot. Excuse you, Erin J. You okay? Okay. So I think Yep, that's gonna be the bottom for me. All right, I'm going to come in here. Maybe putting it right on the edge was not the best idea of the edge of that fold. I'm going to come in there and use that liquid glue and get it down really good. And same with this. I might just trim that off because that's such a tiny piece. It's probably not going to lay right if I don't. Oh, I like that. Very pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is because that's showing right there, I'm just going to come in there, come in here and trim and trim just to take that little notch out. So when you pull it back, you've got that little notch there. But when you put it down like this, oh, I like that. Y'all, pretty, pretty. And this, the way I will fix that yucky, I'm just going to come in and use my Distress Ink and just dirty that up like it was meant to be all dirty and vintage and like it's come through the U.S. Post Office <laughs> already. Dirty that up good. And we're going to come all the way down to where all of that's going to be showing. And if you want to stamp on the inside here, you can too. Cute. All right, so, yep, I like that. Do that and that. 
and then we're going to wop off my sheet there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use some score tape. That was way back behind me. Use some score tape and get this adhered down and there and then I need a little bit there. Okay, take my backing off. Okay, and then the other side. Let's see. Yeah. Just want to make sure that all of that is covered up. That you're putting the score tape on. Because you don't want your adhesive coming over the edge of that. So yeah, that's covered up really well. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so in my journal, this will be what shows the most. This this part. This will not show as much. It is upside down. Like if you wanted to look at it that way, it is upside down on the back side. So if you're going to do one of these and you want to actually mail it, which I don't I wouldn't recommend, I would recommend making this and then putting it in a regular envelope. To mail it just because it's got so many little edges and stuff it might not make it without getting ripped apart but this is the side that's going to show the most in my um, journal and I know that most of the time envelopes this bottom edge is over the top but I loved this piece and the way this looked so I wanted this to show more than this part so you can put your envelopes together any way you would like I love this. I love this envelope and I will put it in sideways into my journal. Let me get one here to show you. So like it'll go in like this. Into my journal like that. I love the look of that. I love how grungy it is. I just love that collaged envelope. So, giveaway info. While I'm cleaning up, I will tell you everything and stop teasing you. All right, so giveaway for 3,300 subscribers um, is a $75 um, gift to scrapbookingwithme.com but it's going to be divided up in between three or among three different um, winners because 33 is my favorite number and so I'm going to go by rule of three for this giveaway so when I reach 3,300, because I'm not quite there as of the recording of this video. So when I reach 3,300 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away this gift, this prize. It is three $25 um, gift certificates to scrapbookingwithme.com. And you'll get a code and you'll be able to use it at scrapbookingwithme.com and get whatever your heart desires with your $25 <laughs> and then we will mail that to you we'll mail you your order three different lucky winners or blessed winners I don't believe in luck blessed winners will uh, win and we will draw for that let's see I don't know I'll surprise you as far as when I draw it'll be very soon but the rules for being entered into my drawing and I know I've been very scattered through this video. Forgive me. But, oh well. Um, the rules are, you must be a subscriber, duh, 
you must be a subscriber here. That's the rule for anybody's YouTube giveaway. You must be a subscriber here. I would like for you to like this video. The more likes I get on a video, the more YouTube likes me and helps me. Okay? Then, after you've subscribed to my channel, if you're already a subscriber, ding, you already got number one done. I would like for you to like this video. Of course, I cannot tell who YouTube keeps that anonymous, so I cannot tell who likes and who unlikes and all that kind of stuff. But I would like for you to like this video. And then I want you to comment with your favorite number. Mine is 33. What is your favorite number? Tell me what your favorite number is in the comments. Also, let me know what you thought about this little project here. My upside down on the outside, but great on the inside <laughs> collaged envelope. So if you're using directional paper, remember that. Um, but you have to tell me what your favorite number is in the comments below. And please follow me on Instagram. If you do not have an Instagram account, that's okay. But I would like for you to follow me on Instagram also. Me, Crafty Scrapper, on Instagram. And my Instagram link is in the description below also. So, subscribe. These are the things you, uh, you have to do. Subscribe and leave me a comment of your favorite number. Mine is 33. Leave me a comment what your favorite number is. Let me know what you think about this project. That's the two things to be entered to win my 3300 subscriber giveaway. And again, it is $325 gift certificates to scrapbookingwithme.com. That means that three different people will win. I'll have I'll draw one name, they'll get $25. I'll draw a second name, they'll get $25. I'll draw a third name, they'll get $25. Okay? So, you're only going to be entered one time since there's three different chances to win. Okay? So, thank y'all so much for watching this video and listening to my rambling and my scatteredness. And I've got to go find a stamp that I dropped in the floor. <laughs> and make sure that my son's okay because he's in there coughing his head off just eating lunch. So, anyways, y'all have a blessed day. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I love y'all. Bye.